Alan Smith alongside me. Alan, this is a very intriguing group. We had a couple of games for each club now, and now we're on to match day three. Beginning to shape up. Yeah, I think so. The group does begin to take shape, and uh, we'll begin to see who are going to be the favourites to top it. The match today is Benfica against Arsenal. Number seven, Andrea Samare. Number 18, Eduardo Salvio. And number 10, Jonas. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. Ball in his last three games, he's given defenders a torrid time lately. And this is the team Benfica are going to field today. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted it could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive this team but uh, if they're on the front foot that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems this is the Arsenal lineup gonna check starts in goal Hector Bellerin plays with Monreal in the fullback positions Jack Wilshire plays with Granit Xhaka in the center of the park and at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Arsenal look a really good side these days. They're gunning for another win after that away victory against Watford. Yeah, impressive, that 3-1 win. And uh, I think that's going to be enough to carry them through here with another win. Referee today, Pedro Ortega. All the spotlight on these two teams in the Champions Cup on match day three. That's the kickoff we're starting. Yeah, we're getting into the, the body of this group now, and uh, the favourites start to emerge. Granani Chaka on the attack here. Pass threaded through. Real opening now. It's a fast start here. They deserve that goal. They'd be the better team early on. You've got to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net. But the goalkeeper was in a decent position, but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in. Let's see the replay now. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. So it's Arsenal with the lead. Pizzi. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Switch of it. The shot's on. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. Granani Chaka. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Some positive work. Shot's on here. He's blocked that well. Straight away, pressing to win the ball back high up the pitch. Fraser. Andreas Samaris. Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal that's just happened elsewhere. It's a goal for the visitors. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Mesut Ozil. Now, this is an interesting attack. Totally unmarked in the middle. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one.
Good advantage for Benfica. Good decision from the ref. Jonas. And here they are on the attack. Good strong tackle. Now Mkhitaryan. Eduardo Salvio. Andreas Samaris. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, down on the touchline, getting uh, the details about that injury is Jeff Shreves. Jeff. He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and is in some discomfort. But he's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out there. Jeff, thank you very much. Corner played in. A decent fist away by the keeper. Ozil! Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point. But sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Well, this is the team in form, isn't it? They are excellent, these players today. And they've got their reward here. When you look at all of them. They all fancy getting on the score sheet. They're all drifting forward. Starting at 2 0. Pizzi. Jonas. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Got to clear it now. Henrik Mikitarian. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Easy. Face her. And the pass not completed, really. Going forward well. Ah, oh, the attack has done well, beating his man. And in it goes to... Fantastic goal! Well, for all of you who love seeing headed goals, I do, for sure. I know Alan does. What a good example this was. He's always on the move in the box, this lad. And we know he's a fine header of the ball. He showed it there. Two for him on the day. And two very well-taken goals. Well, here's the goal again. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Well, this is vintage Arsenal. Arsenal goal, number 11. Eduardo Salvia. Ponas. Proper tackle, that. Fraser. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Here's Berin. Laurent Koscielny. Nacho Monreal. Arsenal with a sharp edge to this attack. Pizzi anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Threads it through. No nonsense defending from him. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Oh, they've lost out. They've wasted, actually, a real counter-attacking possibility there. 
Andreas Samaris. Played down the wing. That's a foul by the Arsenal man. Good defensive clearance there. And they cut it out. Samaris. Return pass. Jonas. Fraser. Tizzi. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Eduardo Salvio. Pizzi. Fraser. Well, he's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. Laurent Koscielny. The referee has indicated... And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Jonas. Samaris. There's good progress with this attack. Fraser. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Cleared away by the defender. Now Miki Tarian. And the referee has signaled for half time. 3 0 is the scoreline at this point. It's been the best efforts of Meza Ozil, but in vain. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. On the attack here, the pass threaded through. Real opening now! away by the keeper. Ozil! Going forward well. Ah, oh, the attack has done well, beating his man. And in it goes towards... Fantastic goal! And there's the kickoff for the second half of this third match, remember, in the group stage of the Champions Cup. Seemed to be one or two nerves about in that first period, but uh, I think it'll, it'll open up a little bit. Goal news now from the Stadio Olimpico, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Roma. It's been scored by Diego Perotti. He was in on goal and with a delicate dink, he lifted it over the keeper and just under the bar. 47 minutes played, 2-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Samaris. Eduardo Salvio, supporting player alongside. Nacho Monreal. Santi Cazola. Patrick. Goal news involving the incisive pass. Mkhitaryan. Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. My apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally uh, just a while back. Real Madrid have scored. That's what he was uh, trying to tell us before we had to cut him short, unfortunately. The score is now 2-0. Ozil. Oh, 
Trying to get the ball in behind. Just the keeper to beat. And a goal for the Gunners. Goalkeeper was reaching for it, and it did actually touch him on the way in. I think there was just too much power on the ball, on the shot, for him to get a strong enough touch. this such a one-sided affair but look at the scoreline coming up for you on EA Sports don't forget don't miss this the coverage of the Premier League fixture Arsenal they'll be facing Everton away from home yeah I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it and I am as well Pizzi. Jonas. Granani Chaka. Nacho Monreal. Attacking well here. Guided through by Henrik Mikatarian. They're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Well, they're taking off undoubtedly their best player, Meza Ozil. But they've got to do something to try and improve the situation in the game. Wonderful to watch. He took those two goals superbly well. Corner for Arsenal. <laughs> Swung in from the corner. Cleared away by the defender. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Could be dangerous. And they've cut it out. Santi Cazola. Fraser. Good advantage for Benfica. Good decision from the ref. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Well, he's got support here. In with a chance. He stopped the opposition, gets the ball out of harm's way. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Fraser. Pizzi. Fraser. Pizzi. Pizzi. It's a good place to win the ball here. Pizzi. And now he's looking for some support. Comes in with a tackle. It's a good cross. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Got to it and made the save comfortably. Yeah, he would have got some stick if that had found the net. Having played the advantage, he's now going back to deal with the infringement that he could have blown for. And the offender's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, I wonder whether he thought he got away with that because the play was allowed to go on. But no, he sees yellow. Well, when you have the quality and the width, that's what this lad brings. You've got a special talent. And uh, it's been uh, a special showing as he's replaced now, the crowd recognising that. Yeah, what he's done, he, he's hugged the touchline and he's stretched that opposing back line, created space for teammates inside and vital performance from him. He's got his shot off now. A real miscue here.
Here's Berin. Goal news from the Stadio Olimpico, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Roma. Crafting the through pass. Well, it will be a throw-in. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just stunned into silence. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw-in. The break is definitely on. The shot's on! Dangerous pass, I think, with the keeper pushing it away. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. It was a bit of a cut-off for Alan McAnally, wasn't it? But he, I'm sure you've got the point, Roma have scored. The score is now 3-1. 4-0 here, and almost time up. What does this mean for their next game? Well, Arsenal go up against Everton after this, and uh, the way they've played out here today, they'll be full of confidence, I think. Patrick. Trying to steer it through. Needs to stay cool now. Shot up, and it's in for the goal. Well, he's point-blank range. But you've got to be there to score, you've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. He took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. It is now an extraordinary lead, and you could say really game over. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Here come Arsenal, an exciting style. The ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Three minutes of added time. Honas. Salvio. Good defending. That's safely away. Alex Iwobi. There is the final whistle. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, from the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. Wonderful stuff. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Well, he was certainly the man to watch for the opposition but they could do nothing to tame him. Got himself a brace to contribute to this win. On the attack here. Pass threaded through. Real opening now! Pissed away by the keeper. Ozil! Going forward well. Oh, the attack has done well, beating his man. And in it goes towards... Fantastic goal! Ozil. Trying to get the ball in behind. Just the keeper to beat. Face, huh? 
Pizzi. Pizzi. Trying to steer it through. Needs to stay cool now. Shot off. And it's in for the goal.